Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to multi-stream for free using the free version of uh, Restream.io and uh, OBS. Uh, some of you may suggest to use Wirecast and add more outputs as Wirecast um, offers this option, but Wirecast is a way heavier app than OBS. And in my experience and with my current hardware, which is an i5 and 7th generation and 16 gigabyte of RAM, it could handle only up to three simultaneous outputs, so I won't be showing Wirecast here. Uh, also, Wirecast actually is not a free software, so let's stick to OBS. If you do want me to create another video, let me know in the comments and I can do one for uh, Wirecast. So, uh, let's dive right into it. As mentioned before, we'll be using Restream, so if you don't have a Restream.io account, the link will be posted below. You also need OBS, it's free, and OBS Virtual Cam, an add-on for OBS. Uh, links also below. Download and install the software and let's go to the next step. So um, here you can see my Restream.io account and the websites I have connected. The free version does not allow you to add a Facebook page or a Facebook group, but we don't need to upgrade as there are other ways to stream on a Facebook page or a group for free. If you do need to add one of these, like a, or a second YouTube or a second Twitter account, let's say because you're a band or a DJ and you wanted the stream to go on both or more accounts, uh, you have to create a second Restream account or a third account and so goes on. Again, free accounts. After you have all your accounts ready, go to the desktop shortcut of OBS, right click properties, and at the target, add space dash multi. Uh, this will allow you to run multi instances of OBS, meaning in most simple words, you're gonna be able to run more than one window of, of OBS, and we're gonna need that. Open the first uh, instance of OBS by just double clicking the shortcut. So uh, for our example, we're gonna be using three OBS instances. So we need to create three scenes. The reason we do this is because every scene has its own sources and we don't need to change the profile, but every scene has its own sources. So we need to have different sources because um, we're gonna be using the virtual cam as a source and different virtual cam on each instance. Let's create another scene, instance two, and another scene, instance three. So now we have instance one, instance two, and instance three. Let's go back to instance one. Let's open one more instance of OBS. And let's change the instance here to two. Let's open one more instance of OBS. And let's change the instance to three. Now we have three different instances with three different scenes. We're gonna create our first and main scene on the first instance. Like you can add uh, video sources, audio, layers, whatever you need. For our example, we're gonna just add one video capture device and this webcam, and this is fine. You can extend it, you can do whatever you want with it right here. Send it to the output, program ready. Okay, in studio mode, you can see the input and the output. Now we need to activate the virtual cam in the first instance. We go to tools, virtual cam, we leave everything in default, OBS camera, one we click start that's it we put this on the side now in the second instance we need to add a new video source and we're going to add that virtual cam you, we just created obs camera done okay so we have the same thing on both send it to the output now for the third instance we need to activate another virtual cam start put this down here too many windows i know in the third instance we add that second virtual cam here we go Okay, there we go, that's it. Now everything is the exact same thing.
Now the only thing you need to do is start adding the outputs of these instances, meaning auto configuration wizard, next, next, you choose which service you want here. If you want Restream, you select Restream, then you go to your second instance. If you want Facebook Live for a page, you go here, you go to Facebook Live, you get your stream key, and if you want here another Restream account, you can add another Restream account. Okay, that's pretty much it. If you want more instances, you can try it. I don't know how good your computer is and if you can handle it, but you can see right here, right now, my computer is only running 3.8, 4%. Even if I click start streaming, this will not pass 50% of CPU. OBS is a very lightweight software, very lightweight. I've even, I have even used it with uh, my tablet and it works just fine. One other important detail is your internet bandwidth. Each OBS instance might need like four to five megabit of upload, might need less. Uh, so make sure you have enough bandwidth. I also recommend using a LAN cable uh, plugged into your router instead of Wi-Fi. But even if it's Wi-Fi, I use the three instances with Wi-Fi, AC Wi-Fi, and it works just fine. I have Verizon Fios 200 megabit upload. So it was running very smoothly, no interruptions, nothing, good quality and 1080p streaming. Um, best thing you can do is run a test for a few minutes, maybe in private accounts if you have any. If you want to stream on Instagram, you can just use uh, my other video that I have posted before and one of these sources can be 9x16 instead of 16x9 uh, as you see here and you can stream on Instagram. Again, you'll find this information on my other video. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Happy multi-streaming. Ethan out.